Kaboom. Hey guys, welcome back to another fun-filled module installation day. Uh, this customer came in and wants us to replace their module, which is located right down there. So today we're replacing that BCM right down there in the passenger kick panel. I've gone ahead and already set up an identified IDS in, to the vehicle and have selected programmable module installation, went down to BCM and just pretty much followed the prompt. So right now I'm going to go ahead and install a new module in the vehicle. Alright, so the customers already took uh, the kick panel off and the fuse cover and all the bolts that hold this thing in. But I just kind of wanted to go over a little bit of what you need to do to replace uh, the body control module. This is uh, the location of all the fuses in your, uh, let's see, 208, um, 2000, I think 2008 they started putting them down here. But uh, as far as your six, six sevens, uh, 2011 to current model year, we're looking at uh, the BCM right here in the kick panel. So, um, gonna leave that alone. Uh, looks like they got some stuff going under the carpet here. Okay, get this cable out the way. All right, let's start with this black connector. Got a little little dimple here to depress. And then you got a gray one. There goes the interior lights. This one was broke. Disconnect that. Um, we got another gray one. Brown one. And we got uh, a big black one up here with a tab that sometimes breaks on you. It did not break. We got a uh, little small small one down here at the very top left and then the main battery power at the top which has got a button here when you're looking at the BCM uh, the button see that I don't know if you guys can see that or not this button right here is right where your thumb would be if you could put your hand in here like this the buttons right there that's it BCM comes out there it is all Nasty life. Looks like somebody's replaced a fuse already. Um, I think that's for running lights, I think. Um, this is a wrecker, a rollback roll 2011. Got 116,000 miles on it and is hit. I mean, hit. I know it's a work truck, but man, this thing is hit. Okay, here's our new, um, our new DCM. They provided it. Uh, this is going to go into a hole in the body. I don't know, you can't see. Oh, there it is, right there. That is where this is supposed to go. So when you guys locate it in here, just make sure um, you're getting it in the, in the top so that it sits flush to the, the body, the uh, kick panel here. So another thing I want to point out too, so when you get a BCM, they come with these already installed. So these are kind of a pain to pull out. You either can take the bolts out of the new one and take these off of the new one and reuse these ones because they're they are a bear to take out of uh, you can see where this guy tried taking it out. This metal is deformed right here um, from him pulling so hard. There's another one. I don't know if you can see this one. Yeah, right here. So uh, there are two bolts down here, and I'm just pretty much going to line it up and bolt it down. So let's let's go on ahead and do that. Kind of far out on an angle here. You can really see the top get in, so you're not uh, um, going to miss that slot. Two uh, two little seven mil bolts. Let me get my little gun.
Okay. Pop the boy like that. Cables are, uh, truck's cold. Nothing wants to move. Okay, there's one. Juggled that one in. See if we can get this one. There we go. Oh, and here's the old clip. Nope, that didn't get in. Somebody's dropped this one down here. What? That wasn't. All right, there we go. Just took a. A little harder finesse. So, just gonna go backwards. Um, where's our, our big power cable? There it is. So, I'll go, go ahead and plug the power cable back in. That brown one. You can all hear them click. Big guy. Remember the little black one here on the side. Got this dude. Hello. Coming through. Lady in blue. Coming through. I'm hooked. I'm hooked. I'm hooked. Okay, got another one. There's our clinger. Okay. And there's a little locating tab for this guy, which is right her. Okay, our VCM just reconnected. Okay. By law, we have to return the vehicle to the customer as it came in, and I don't know if they got something else they're doing, but I'm not gonna put the the A-pillar stuff back on, so all this wire and stuff, so I'll let them deal with that. But uh, let me show you guys how to start the programming. Okay, we've installed the new module in the vehicle. Ignition on. Oh, VCM, there it is, VCM's back, VCM's blinking. Keys on. Please wait. Key off. Just keep following the prompts with IDS. It's going to tell you what to do. So, yeah. Racing. It's going to load all that data that it just inhaled from the old one and put it in the new one. I don't know what the problem was with the old one. We weren't told. They just said they want the, the BCM replaced, so I'm replacing the BCM. Um, yeah, so we gotta wait until that is all the way over there. Halfway. Okay, it went all the way through and is just doing another little small one. It has a couple windows that does this too, so. Okay. It's all programmed and configured. Now we're gonna have to do a couple more things uh, regarding the um, the centralized engine immobiliz immobilization uh, CEI lot configuration. So you can see the lights are flashing right now. So we are going to have to go to the toolbox. And I'm gonna show you guys. Chassis, electrical, no body, service functions. Configurable engine immobilizer, that's what it stands for. Oh, gotta get out of this programming window. Okay, redo. Okay, ignition's on. Function complete, lights no longer blinking. Just part of the configuration process that you gotta that you gotta do. Uh, so the next thing that we need, uh, we are gonna have to do pats 
passive anti-theft. All that information is stored in the BCM, so every time you replace that, you are gonna get this message in the instrument cluster, um, and the vehicle will not start. So, where is it? Uh, let me turn the key back on and off a lot. You get this in the instrument cluster, starting system fault. So what we have to do is go through a 10 minute procedure that's going to go in access uh, security uh, to that module so that we can, uh, one, do two things. You have to do a par parameter reset and then erase and program uh, the ignition keys. And we'll need two of those keys. So uh, we are going to have to wait 10 minutes, 600 seconds. So I'll see you back here in just a few. All right, we're almost done. And then we'll uh, take the next step to gaining security access. 600 seconds. Almost. Almost. Okay. It's gonna give us the tick mark at the bottom. Here it is. Okay, 10 minutes has passed and we've gained security access. So now we're going to go to the parameter reset. So you need two vehicles to start the vehicle if you replace the PATS instrument cluster, the virtual image cluster, whatever that is, or the hybrid electric cluster, which is the old uh, clusters like in the 6.0s. So yes, that's what we want to do. Resetting security ID. And everybody's going to talk the same language. We want to ignition key code erase. Going to have need two keys. This vehicle only had one key, so I had to cut another key. So turn the ignition to zero. First key is in the ignition, and it is an integrated key transmitter. You guys just heard the lock cycle. But the second key is one of the old-fashioned jewel keys, and that is what my second key is going to be. So that is going to indicate that we are fully programmed. I'm going to turn the key off, let it exit the um, security access. Now we should be able to start the vehicle up. Okay. That was on the old jewel key. So let's go ahead and put the integrated key transmitter. Make sure that works. Okay. Hit the buttons. Okay. Everything works. So we're just gonna go ahead and just double check and make sure uh, we have some programming DTCs. And we're just gonna clear all the continuous memory and get it out of here. Okay, it just completed all these DTCs from disconnecting that BCM that controls so many modules. Gonna go ahead and clear the ABS module, HVAC module, instrument cluster, PCM, everything. Okay. Let's do another key cycle. We should be light free. Sweet. Airbag light gone. All right, cool, guys. So this is how you put a BCM in a uh, 2011 to, I would say, 17 uh, model year Super Duty. I haven't done a 17, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be uh, pretty identical. So uh, let me know in the comment section if anybody's ever had to replace their BCM and why, what kind of vehicle, how many miles did you have on it. Um, and make sure to give me a like and thumbs up. Thanks guys. Talk to you later.